Ms. Hurd, you just testified that this case has been very hard for you. So let's talk about that and why. All right. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. You sat here and told this jury that the events in Hicksville started with Mr. Depp getting really upset about a woman leaning on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's effectively what happened, yeah. You testify that he actually grabbed that woman's wrist and twisted it, right? And told her that he could effectively break her wrist by saying he knew how many pounds of pressure, asking her how many pounds of pressure it took to break a human wrist. But your own witness, your former best friend, Rocky Pennington, she didn't corroborate that, did she? Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of that night she saw. There were a lot of people there. She didn't testify that Mr. Depp gra grabbed anyone's wrist in Hicksville. Again, I don't know what Rocky saw. There were a lot of people there that night. You testified that once you brought Mr. Depp back to your trailer, he trashed it, correct? That is correct. And the manager of the Hicksville trailer park was furious that Johnny had wrecked the whole thing. Do you remember that testimony? That's correct. Well, we heard from that manager of the Hicksville trailer park, Morgan Knight, on Monday, didn't we? I'm not quite sure who that guy was or if he had any involvement in this. I know a lot of people have come out of the woodwork to be in involved. So you're accusing Mr. Knight of testifying and committing perjury? I'm not accusing anyone. I just don't recognize that man. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was upset with Mr. Depp spending time away from him. Isn't that correct? How would he know? He wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that it was actually you who was yelling at Mr. Depp. Again, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of things to be involved in the Johnny Depp show, but he wasn't there. He doesn't know. And he certainly doesn't know what happened behind closed doors, like most people. So you're calling Mr. Knight a liar? I am saying he wasn't there, and what he testified to doesn't match what I know happened. But I don't fault him. He wasn't there, so how would he know? He testified he was there, Ms. Heard. Did you hear that? That's his testimony, yes. So you're calling him a liar? I'm just saying he wasn't there. You heard Mr. Knight testify that the trailer wasn't trashed, and that's why you're calling him a liar. He testified that a light fixture was broken, similar to the way that yes, Johnny's other than a light fixture, testified that was the to only my thing closet that was broken, being rearranged right? Heard, and things Ms. like Heard, that. The only thing that was broken in the trailer, according to Mr. Knight, was a light fixture. Yes or no? I realized that he summed it up by saying a light fixture was broken, just the way his security guard summed up him trashing my closet as being rearranged. Your Honor, I'm going to move to strike everything after he summed it up that it was a light fixture as non-responsive. She answered the question, Your Honor. Uh, over, over, over. In the security guard testimony, Your Honor? I'll allow it. Go ahead. Mr. Knight also testified that he charged Mr. Depp only $62 for the damaged light fixture. You heard that, correct? I did. In Hicksville, you were the only one that was jealous that Mr. Depp was spending time from other people. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? That is incorrect. In Hicksville, you were the one who was upset that Mr. Depp wasn't giving you enough attention. Incorrect again. Ms. Hurd, you told this jury that you had no idea the press was going to be at the courthouse when you got your TRO on May 27th, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? Uh, I said I did not have anything to do with it. Yes. No. My question again. You told this jury that you had no idea that the press was going to be outside after you got the ex-party TRO on May 27th, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? I apologize. I must have misunderstood, Ms. Vasquez. Um, I actually had no idea whether they were going to be there or not. When I walked into the courtroom that day, it was completely quiet, still, empty. Even though I had given Johnny's team notice that I was filing the TRO, your Honor, this is not we responsive. had no reason to Move believe to that press knew. And Your Honor, I would also ask that you instruct the witness to please stop talking once I lodge an objection. Your Honor, she's trying to answer the question as best she can, and Ms. Vasquez is misrepresenting to her what she testified to. Well, I'll instruct the last part as non-responsive. Just if you could just answer the questions asked. Okay? Thank you, Ms. Hurd. In fact, you testified that you were, quote, shocked when you saw press when you were leaving the courthouse. Yes? Yes. You weren't shocked at all, though, were you? Uh, incorrect. It was horrifying. You knew the horrifying. press would be at the courthouse, right, Ms. Hurd? No. Well, you did bring your publicist to the courthouse with you on May 27, 2016, didn't you? I sure did. I'm a public figure. I brought my publicist in case it blew up.
in case. And you actually had alerted TMZ that you would be filing a TRO against Mr. Depp that very day, no, I did didn't not. you? No, I did the not. The one day you didn't bother to wear makeup to cover up the mark on your face. I did not call TMZ or any other news source or paparazzi source. No one. Well, I we never heard did that. testimony from former TMZ employee Morgan Tremaine yesterday, correct? Did I hear his testimony? Yes. Yes, I was he here. Yes. And you heard Mr. Tremaine's testimony that he knew to dispatch the paparazzi to the courthouse on May 27th, right? I heard him say that he knew that, yes. Yeah, and that he dispatched paparazzi to the courthouse to capture a picture of an alleged bruise on the right side of your face. Do you remember him saying that? I remember him saying that. That information must have come from your team, right, Ms. Hurd? Absolutely not. Why would I want that? What actual survivor of domestic violence wants that? Now, the video of Mr. Depp beating up some kitchen cabinets, you admit that you took that video, correct? Yes, I did. All right. And you acknowledge that the video was released online the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, right? I believe it was, yes. But you testified that you had absolutely nothing to do with the video's release, right? Absolutely not. And you testified that you learned about it when you landed after flying into L.A. Do you remember I, that testimony? Upon touchdown is when I was alerted to the video's you existence You heard Mr. Online. Tremaine testify that this, about this video as well yesterday, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you heard Mr. Tremaine testify that TMZ received the cabinet video the same day you landed at LAX, yes? I don't know if that I, I don't know if that's what his testimony was, I'm sorry. You heard Mr. Tremaine testify that the cabinet video was posted 15 minutes after TMZ received it, yes? That's what I heard him say. And that this could only have been possible if the video was received directly from the source. Yes? I heard him say that. I don't know if that's true or if that's possible. Because it didn't come from me. Mr. I was flying. Tremaine so testified. It, it, I know that's incorrect is what I mean to say. Another liar on the stand? I just know that that's incorrect. Right. And you heard Mr. Tremaine testify that TMZ owns the copyright to the cabinet video, right? That's news to me. The cabinet video you filmed of your then husband, yes? The copyright ownership of that is news to me. I learned that yesterday. It's the cabinet video that you captured of your then husband, yes? That is correct. I did capture that video, and the yes, that video, was my husband. The same cabinet video that was released the night before you were deposed in your divorce, yes? That's correct. Okay. You must have also heard Mr. Tomain testify that the version of the cabinet video that TMZ received was incomplete compared to the video the jury saw in this trial. Did you hear that? The video that the jury that you have seen is complete. Right. But the one TMZ got the day before your deposition in the divorce was incomplete. I don't know. I haven't seen it. He testified that at the beginning portion of the video where you set up the camera, that wasn't included in the video that TMC received. I don't know what video TMC received. I'm talking received. about Mr. Tremaine's testimony, Ms. Hurd. Let's just so focus on Mr. Tremaine. you're asking me to Tremaine. repeat his testimony? No, I'm asking you if you recall hearing him say those words to this jury. Yes, Under I heard his testimony. We okay. all did. And he testified that the end of the video where you can see be seen smirking. I know you testified earlier that you haven't been smirking in this trial, but you sure were caught on camera smirking in that video. I disagree with that. Not in, was also not included in the TMZ video. Everyone can watch that video and you can determine whether you think it's funny to me or not. That's because the video came from you, right, Ms. Hurd? No, it did not. You edited that video out did the not portions. Come to me. No, it come from me. Ms. Hurd, you edited out the portions that made you look bad before sending it to TMZ. You are very wrong about that. So that if I wanted Mr. to leak Depp information, I could have bad. done it in a more effective way a lot sooner and a lot more. Because you I was exactly living with a mountain that, right? of this evidence. If I wanted to leak it, I could have done a lot more with it. I thought you testified earlier in this trial that you didn't know how to leak things. Remember I don't. That? Right. You edited that video before you gave it to TMZ so that only Mr. Depp would look bad. Yes? That's absurd. Right in the middle of your divorce proceedings. Again, you're very wrong. I'd like to show you um, a picture from that's already admitted into evidence. It's uh, Defendant's Exhibit 799. This is you at the courthouse on May 27, 2016, when you got your domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? It is. And next, and next to you is, to you a, is woman a woman named, named Jody Gottlieb, Gottlieb, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Jody Gottlieb is your publicist. And dear friend. 
Now I'd like to show you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 1316. This is a picture of you and your friend Rocky Pennington, right? That is correct. Your Honor, I'd like to move to admit this photograph. Any objection to 1316? No, Your Honor. All right, 1316 in evidence. You can publish the jury. This is a, this picture, is a picture of, of you on May 28th, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? I don't know when this was taken. This is the day after you obtained the domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? I have no idea when this um, image was taken. I did not take it. There's no bruise on your face in this picture, is there? Again, I don't know when this was taken. And also, I'm outside. I was obviously wearing makeup. I have no idea when this was taken, so I have no idea if I can Let's speak to what recollection. you can Let's see Let's refresh your recollection about when this picture was taken. Um, can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1315, just for the witness? This is an article dated May 30th, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's what it says, yes. And this article contains the same photograph of you and Ms. Pennington we were just looking at, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see that. And the article is entitled, Amber Heard Smiles as She Puts Arm Around Friend One Day After Getting Restraining Order Against Johnny Depp. Is that, is that what the title says? I know that's what the title says, yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move to admit and publish the article with everything but the headline and date and the photo redacted. Objection, Your Honor. That's inconsistent from the way you've treated I'll all of these. I'll sustain the objection. All right, next question. Let's take a look at picture plaintiff's exhibit 1317. This is also a picture of you and Ms. Pennington on May 28, 2016, isn't it? I don't know when this photo was taken, but it looks like the same outing as the picture prior. Your Honor, I'm going to move to admit and publish plaintiff's exhibit 1317. Any objection? No, Your Honor. Right, 1317 in evidence you can publish. There's no bruise on your face, on your in, this face in this picture either, right? Either, right? I disagree. Uh, if it is taken when you represent it was taken, then obviously there's a bruise on my face. It's covered by makeup as per usual. Let's zoom out of that picture for a moment, please. Thanks, Tom. That's Josh Drew in this picture, right? Yes, that's correct. And Miss Pennington? That is, is correct. In there too? Ms. That Pennington is correct. submitted a sworn statement on your behalf in support of your domestic violence restraining order, didn't she? I believe she did, yes. Mr. Drew also submitted a statement in support of a domestic violence restraining order. I believe they both did, yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hurd, I'd like to show you Defendant's Exhibit 512, which is already in evidence. You've seen this photograph before, right? I have. On the second day of your direct testimony, you testified that this was taken in the downstairs of the main apartment on December 15th, 2015. Do you recall that testimony? Uh, yes, I believe so. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to Penthouse 5 that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident. Yes? Uh, I'm not quite sure from what incident this is when I see this photo in a, in a vacuum without context. Let's give you that context. Can we please, thanks. If I could have day 16 trial testimony. Your Honor, we approach? All right. Turn first to page four five eight five. Specifically on starting on line sixteen where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. I'm, you said four, five, eight, oh, four, I'm on 4485, four, sorry. You said 4585. Four, 4585. Five, five. Pardon. 
line 16. Line 16, where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. And then do you see that your testimony about December 15th, 2015 follows? Let's see. It's just the first line or two. Yes. Okay. Now I'd like you to turn to page 4603. Starting at line 12. 4603. Starting at line 12 and going on to page 4604, line 4. Okay. And do you see that you testify that defendant's exhibit 512, which is on the screen, yes. is a picture of the downstairs of the main apartment? That's correct. And the main apartment is Penthouse 5 in the Eastern Columbia Building, right? No, the, well, depends on what. The main apartment's Penthouse 3, generally, when we say main apartment. Penthouse 5 was where you had your closet? The downstairs was kind of like a, had some of my painting studio set up and a reception area. Upstairs was the closet. Got Mezzanine it. office yes. was in between. All right. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to the penthouse, Penthouse 5, that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident, right? I'm just not sure from which incident this is a picture of since I'm only looking at Even a though your counsel floor. was asking you questions about December 15th, 2015, and then admitted this test, this picture into evidence I, again in, in my relation to that incident sorry go ahead what in relation to that incident on December 15th 2015 this exhibit defendants exhibit you are the defendant number 512 was admitted into evidence in this court you testified that this was the result of damage that occurred on December 15th 2015 yes or no uh, I just need to orient myself because I'm just looking at a picture of a partial no, picture of a No, Ms. Heard, you didn't just so look I at can't. a picture. You looked at your testimony. I, you pointed me towards the page and then asked me a question. I haven't actually reviewed it. I don't know if this was submitted in relation to that incident. Let's pull up, let's actually leave up Defendants 512 and please pull up Defendants Exhibit 725, which is already in evidence right, thank you. in redacted form, Your Honor. All right, thank you. You can publish. Just side by side. You've seen this photograph as well, right? I have. On the third day of your direct testimony, you testified that this photograph reflected spilled wine in Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016, didn't you? I, again, I don't know because I'm looking at a partial picture of a floor, so unless you remove the metadata you've covered up, we could then tell. If you I remove, didn't cover it up, Your Honor. Could I, we unredact them Honor. so we could get context? Yes. That's how it's in evidence. That's how All it's right. in evidence. Next question. Well, the metadata next to it is so that Ms. Heard, to avoid this Ms. Sort Heard, of there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, it's I thought you had asked me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. Let's look at your direct testimony from um, the third day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Let's turn to page four seven five zero in day seventeen transcript. Uh, sorry, can you four seven five zero? Specifically, line 16. 
Do you see where Ms. Bradahoff asked you to describe for the jury what took place on May 21st, 2016? I see that. Okay. And do you see that your testimony is reflected about May 21, 2015? Yes. That follows? Okay. Yes. Now let's turn to page 4804. At line 14. 4804. Starting at line 14? Yes. Through 4805, line 4. Uh, going to what line? Line 4 at 4805. Do you see that you're testifying that defendant's exhibit 725, which is reflected on the right side, reflects spilled wine on the floor in Penthouse 5? That's correct. Okay. And defendant's exhibit 512 and 725 seem to be different versions of the same picture, don't they? That's correct. Okay. So which is it? Which one was taken on December 15th, 2015, or May 21st, 2016? If you remove the redacted metadata, you can find out. It's right there. Or if you're telling the truth, you would know. Recognize a portion of a, a of spilled wine on a floor, and I'm supposed to know off the top of my head when you've no. lived through five years of this stuff? I don't think so. That's not how that works. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross-examination last Ronald, week... Ronald, we approach? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen in the gallery, I would ask that there be no words or no phrases, no words, no sounds at all coming from you. If I hear one more sound, I will clear the gallery and we will continue this testimony without anybody in the courtroom. Understood? Good. All right, your next question. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross-examination last week, I showed you an audio where you told Mr. Depp to tell the jury, tell the judge, tell the world that he is a victim of domestic abuse. Do you remember that? That's correct. And you testified you found it hard to believe that Mr. Depp would tell the world that he's a victim of domestic abuse, didn't you? I said I find it hard to believe that he would do that knowing that he himself had beat me up for five years. But he has told the world that he's your victim of domestic abuse, hasn't he? Well, he started to say that only recently. He didn't make that claim up until very recently. So when we signed our divorce agreement and we signed a statement saying that neither party had ever said false claims for financial gain, it was relevant and important to me because I was the only one making the accusations. I was the only one making those claims. He wasn't doing that at the time. And he signed his name to it. You didn't expect as many people to show up and testify on his behalf that did, did you? Incorrect. When you told this jury under oath that you never assaulted, actually, struck that. Sorry. Um, when you told this jury under oath that you punched Mr. Depp because you thought of Mr. Depp pushing Kate Moss down the stairs, you didn't expect Miss Moss to agree to testify that that never happened, did you? Incorrect. I know how many people will come out of the woodwork to be in support of Johnny. So it you think Miss Moss needs to come out of the that. woodwork to testify for Mr. Depp? Everybody who was around in the 90s and the early aughts knew that rumor. I had heard that rumor from multiple people. Of course, that's what flashed through my head when my violent husband not only swung for me, but all of a sudden swung for my sister. Of course I thought of that. I did not expect her to show up or not expect her to show up. It didn't matter. It doesn't change what I believed at the time when we were on the stairs and I thought he was going to kill my sister by pushing her down the stairs. 
You told this jury under oath that Mr. Depp was aggressive and trashed a trailer in Hicksville. You didn't expect the manager of the Hicksville property, Morgan Knight, to come forward and testify that that was untrue, did you? Incorrect. I've already been through trials with this man. I know how many people will come out in support of him. When you told this jury under oath that you had no idea that the paparazzi would be at the courthouse on May 27th, 2016, you didn't expect a TMZ employee to show up to testify that TMZ had been alerted that you would be at the courthouse and knew exactly which side of your face to take a picture of, did you? I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? He is a very powerful man, and people love currying favor with powerful men. Currying and I know favor that for and risking I've jail lived time it. for committing perjury. Excuse me. I didn't. I didn't hear your question. You didn't Excuse hear my me. Question. Miss Vasquez, if you do curry, mind, please just repeat the question. I didn't hear you. Curry favor and commit perjury in this courtroom. I have seen for a people do this. Man? I have seen people do this time and time again. That's why I wrote the op-ed. You didn't expect Ben King, the house manager in Australia, to show up from England. He flew from England to testify that Mr. Duff's fingertip was found exactly where he said it would be. Did you? I have never heard Johnny testify to knowing where his finger was or really, frankly, making a claim that he knew where it was when it was found. I've never heard Johnny claim that. You didn't expect Johnny King and Wyatt. Johnny has never Ms. actually Heard. said that. Ms. Heard. And I think the jury King, can... Yes. Ms. Heard, there's no question pending. You didn't expect Keenan Wyatt, Mr. Depp's longtime sound technician, to show up and testify that Mr. Depp is not being fed lines through his earpieces, but instead music, did you? Not that it matters much, but of course, of course I did. I, I know how his employees treat him. So you probably, I know how his, his team treats him. Of course I expected that. Okay, so you probably expected Isaac Bruch to come and testify for Mr. Depp, right? Um, I'm not sure I thought about that. Yeah, but you didn't expect Mr. Bruch to weep, to weep for Mr. Depp. After what you've put him through, and so many others, with your lies, I you? relate to I relate to Isaac because he and I There's are the no only ones who have cried on this stand. Nothing further. All right, Cry, uh, redirect. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Heard, if if Mr. Barouche felt misled, who misled him? Johnny, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him from crying. This is horrible. Ms. Vasquez has suggested that you faked bruises on your face. Is that true? Absolutely not. I didn't need